patient called me and was interested in cancer care, I would first suggest that they seek treatment at a center that has the Commission on Cancer accreditation, which is important. Because in the standards for that accreditation is you must have a navigation program in place. And having that navigator from the beginning is going to make um, the process of treatment, diagnosis, and establishing a plan so much easier and less stressful on the patient. Cancer patients, when they're first diagnosed, um, can feel very overwhelmed. They're not sure where to start. And if they contact a nurse navigator, then that person's always available for them. They're accessible, and they're there specifically to answer their questions as they come up, and usually has a depth of knowledge in oncology. A navigator can help with scheduling appointments, uh, giving them information, sort of getting them ready for that first appointment with um, whether it's a medical oncologist or a surgeon, can explain things in a way that maybe the physician hasn't been able to, guide them as uh, they develop a treatment plan with their doctors, but also um, probably the biggest part is navigating the healthcare system. There's a lot to get done before an even a treatment plan is established, and we don't expect them to figure that out on their own. They need someone to help them do that. Many patients have referred to me as their coach. They oftentimes forget the term navigator and they've called me their cancer coach. And I think that's because like a coach on a team can anticipate um, the plan and maybe anticipate what the team might need. So I oftentimes consider the patient and their significant other a team and I can help anticipate what they might not know. I would know, for example, uh, particular tests that could be done on the same day. So if a patient came here one day, we could do as much as possible in one day. Or if it was a longer test, you know, I know that they could maybe only really tolerate one test. I may schedule a patient for a breast MRI. I tend to warn her that after that breast MRI, there's going to be some follow-up and don't be surprised. It's normal. Don't get alarmed if you get the phone call that you need to come back. So I think anticipating uh, those hiccups along the way so they're not so scary is um, how the coach came about. So one of the most important things I do with patients when I have an initial conversation so they're not in um, a panic state is to remind them that it's important for them to slow down. I often use the term it, they need to get off the fast train and they need to take time to um, educate themselves, um, ask us questions, and feel confident in that final decision they made and that it's out of facts and knowledge and not fear. Thank you.